manifestation you know yeah so uh earlier earlier this year i was uh i was telling my girlfriend katie shout out to katie right here shout out katie shout but out katie. um i was telling her like i want to you know focus on opening for bigger acts you know what i'm saying like that's my thing i just want to like you know begin to establish because you get to a point where you got to keep moving you know what i'm saying you can't keep performing for the same people you can't keep performing for your friends it doesn't 100%. get you anywhere like that you know what i'm saying right and so my focus was like i want to perform for open and accent so far uh she was like all the stuff that you were telling me you wanted to do last year like you're doing it right now you know what i'm saying yep and like I realized like, yeah, I'm right. You know, like, you're right. I've been doing all the stuff I said I was going to do. And so it's like, I talk about opening for people. And like this year alone, I've opened for, for Black Milk. I've opened for um, KRS-One, opened for Tech Nine, opened for The Game, opened for ev uh, Evidence in LA. So it's like, I've been doing so all, yeah, just, you know, killing it because that was where my focus was. And manifestation is incredible, man. Mm -hmm. Set your mind to it and go out and do it. Right. So, so do you have any manifestations for 2019? Oh, for sure. Yeah, man. Like I'm trying to tour. I want to put this album out. And I've, you know, the album is incredible. And I was getting excited today because I was just listening to it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I know it's, I know it's good, man. You know. And I was, I was showing um, Zach the other day actually the album to, you know, kind of get his thoughts on it and see what, what he thought. And um, the music was giving him, him chills. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so again, you can't fake that kind of emotion. So it's like, I was listening to it today in the car, and I was hyped. And I was like, man, this is something special, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what do you want people to take away from it when they listen to it? Um, I want the whole whole thing is I just want people to see that they just gotta keep dreaming. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep going because it's like I tell my son. Um, when you're, I told him the other day, like when you're like 60 years old or 50 years old, whatever, don't ever think that you can't start a new endeavor. You know what I'm saying? Don't right. think that you got to stop dreaming because you just hit 45. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you got to keep going. And, and I just, you got to stay young in the mind to where it's like, you don't fall into what society believes is your age limit to yeah. give up and just, that's it. I was watching this one documentary that was showing this dude who was like, I want to say in his fifties or sixties, man, I think he started working out when he was like 48. And he was like, I think it was like 56, 57 or something like that. And he was just ripped. That's good. And I man. was like, wow. Like he too started late. when he was 47. Like, wow, that's crazy. You know, that's one of the things kind of, and it's very important how you kind of mentioned keeping a young state of mind, right? Because mm -hmm. there's people who, who are 20 and they already, they're already like, oh, dude, I just want to settle down. I want to do this. I'm, I'm <laughs> right, good. Right. I'm good. They already have that 55 year old state of mind as opposed to like, I have friends who are 30, who are in their thirties, forties. And they're like, oh, dude, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Like, they're just constantly wanting to do, do new things, try new experiences, and just kind of live their life. I had a girl who, who was early 20s, and she said she couldn't do music anymore because she's already past 21. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know? So it's like, Yo, yeah, how old? Man. How old was, uh, who's that rapper, man? Uh, Not Waka Flocka, was it? Was it one of, one of these rappers who does like mumble rapper trap music? They're like, they're like in their <laughs> 30s, Zan. bro. No, no, oh. no. These rappers are like, they're in their 30s. Like they were, they've been doing shit since they're since their teens, right? But the music didn't catch that genre didn't catch on until they were 29, 30, 40, 34 right, like, years um, old. Like who, uh, two chains, two chains. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Two chains. He was two chains. I think thirty six or something like that when he made it. Like when he when yeah. quote unquote like made he, like, it rebranded yeah. and did all this stuff. Man, here's the thing, man. Um, it's possible, man. We put our own limitations on on ourselves. So if you're like if you're too young to do something, like here, okay, check this out, right? So. I was at House of Blues, um, I think it was last week, and I was doing the workshop and keynote speaking and stuff like that. And so after I was finished, um, you know, a bunch of a bunch of these teenagers were like, they wanted to talk to me, you know what I'm saying, and ask me questions and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool. But there was one kid who was, he was like, man, Mike, uh, I'm 17 and I can't perform anywhere because he's a DJ. He's like, I can't perform anywhere. And so he's like, what, what do I do, you know? And um, I was like, man, you know what? Keep working right now work hard right now you ha just have that patience because you can't do anything about your age to get into these places Man. but what you can do is you could keep working right now because so by the time you're 21 you're gonna be like killing it you know what i'm saying and i saw him listen this is what you do this is what i recommended to him i said um start doing your mixes make sure your 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 skills are on point 
and build up your following right now with all these kids that are your age so that they're following you. So by the time you're 21, you can come to a venue and be like, listen, I got 300 kids that have been following me for years that are going to come through yeah, if you give me exactly. a gig. Let me yeah. just let me do a set right here and I could I could easily bring 200 200 kids in here. Right. Cuz I did the same started right thing now. Too, man. No yeah. excuses, bro. Like I just I went out of high school. I had, I you know, I I was doing graphics and then I started doing video and photos. I couldn't get into any of the clubs. Right. You know, because all the artists I was working with, they were like, oh, no, you have to be 21. I was like, damn. You know what I mean? So I worked hard. I got into some of them, you know, like just right. talk, kept talking to them, like, please just let me in. Right. Just let me in. And then I got my fake ID. I know that's <laughs> not the best thing to say, but you got to set your, you you gotta, set your you mind up for stuff. success, yeah. man. And that's what I was telling these, these, these kids the other day. It's like, you got to set your mind up for anybody, really. You got to set your mind up for success because. Our mentality, people's mentality these days is what stops them. It's not that you're not capable of it. It's that you mentally put these crutches on yourself yep. and you can't, you just can't do anything. Yeah. But if you can get rid, if you can get rid of these mental crutches and you could stop all the blocking yourself mentally of like why you can't do it and this and that, then you're going to be all right because you are capable and it is possible, but you just got to believe it, man. So you have to set your mind up for success. And that's where a lot of people fail is they just talk themselves out of it 